Hi everyone, welcome. I'm so glad to see you. Today we are going to talk about vintage perfume. I love vintage perfume. I love perfume, but I love vintage perfume. And I want to show you my small collection of uh, vintage perfume I have for now. I have a lot of vintage perfume in Paris, where I'm from, but in the United States I didn't bring with me all my perfume, but I started to buy, again, a little bit of vintage perfume. Some of them are very rare, unique. I was able to find them on uh, eBay and over niche uh, website. So um, one of them are is discontinued so I don't think you will be able to find this one anymore I'm not sure you can but so it's very unique yeah and we are going to smell together we are going to discover this beautiful beautiful perfume so what is a vintage perfume we usually we say that vintage something is vintage what is has over 20 years Sold. So these perfumes are vintage because they have been launched many years ago and over 20 years ago. Uh, you need that to, cons to be considered vintage. It's the same thing also with clothes or fashion, exactly the same thing. So I'm so excited um, and we are going to start. Let's start with my favorite vintage perfume. Uh, I love this one. I discovered this one um, many years ago, maybe five years ago in in United States actually. For some of you, uh, you might know this place which is closed now, it's too bad, but you might know this place called Jacqueline Perfumery in San Francisco. It was run by the grumpy um, André, the French André. He ran this place for like over 20 years, over, yeah, maybe 20 or 30 years, I don't know exactly. But it was very an, an, an iconic uh, a place if you were a perfume lover, especially here in the United States. He always carry uh, a very rare, very rare perfume. Uh, and I know that a lot of people in the United States use just to take a flight uh, to go to San Francisco, uh, just to see him and discover new perfume. It was such a place. I will, I think I will always remember this place all my life. It's too bad it's closed uh, now, uh, but it's life. It's like that. Things are not eternal. Maybe perfume are eternal, but not people. Um, and I discovered this one in André. So this perfume is Jean-Louis Scherer by Jean-Louis Scherer. So the perfume has been created in 1979. It's really an iconic 80s perfume. Uh, if you love the 80s, you're gonna love this perfume. And this perfume for me is really the expression of the glamour, and the, the creativity of the, not the creativity, I will say the sophistication of the 80s. It's a very elegant perfume, very, very sophisticated. It's one of my favorite perfumes. I wear this perfume most of the time during the winter. First, this perfume is a Chypre uh, perfume. It's not an oriental, it's not a sweet perfume, it's more in the green side. Uh, it has very, very strong green notes, but it's a Chypre. Chypre perfume are a blend of different notes. You're gonna find fruity notes, wood notes, liver notes, uh, wood, wood notes, woody notes. You're gonna find a blend of different notes, and that's why, that's why Chypre are very unique. A unique perfume and most of the perfume I loved are Chypre. I discovered that later that I love Chypre uh, perfume and that's why I love also Jean-Louis Scherer. He said um, Jean-Louis Scherer is really the, the best Chypre. It's really an iconic uh, Chypre for me and I yeah I think it's very, the expression of the pure, what well, it is a pure Chypre. Let's discover this perfume together. So we usually divide perfume notes in three types of notes. We said there, is, there are the top notes. 
if you, when you smell a perfume you usually wear the top notes it instantly in the very few seconds you wear these notes they are the middle notes so after the few seconds when you're gonna smell these delicate middle notes and the more most important notes for me in a perfume are the base the base notes the base notes really define uh, the perfume and the base notes are really the last notes you're gonna smell and in a few hours yeah one hour you're gonna smell only the base notes meaning that the top notes the middle notes are going to disappear and we what remains it are the base notes so i think it's really important to take time when you want to smell a perfume you need to give time to the perfume to develop uh, to get more uh, character personality you need to really give time when you want to smell a perfume because the base notes are really the last notes and they need time to develop on your skin or, or whatever you use to, to, to smell the perfume. So I'm gonna first use that, I'm gonna spray. I know, I know this perfume by her, I'm gonna say. So I already smell the top notes. This is the first notes I'm, I'm smelling right now. So the first notes are rose, jasmine, gardenia. I really smell the flowers right away. It's the first thing I smell, it's the flowers, but the, it's not sweet. It's not sweet, it's not sugar, sugary, it's green. It's green flowers, but I smell it. And right now, time a little bit of time has passed. So right now, I'm, I'm smelling more the middle notes. And the middle notes are vetiver, salve, musk, sandalwood. Now I can smell the woody. It's more wood. So the flowers have disappeared. And now I'm smelling the wood. It's more wood right now. Now I'm smelling, because time has passed, I'm smelling really the base of the perfume, which really define this perfume. And I'm smelling the vetiver, it's very strong vetiver. I'm smelling the sea the sandalwood and the musk. So it's really a woody green perfume, but I like the combination of the flower, the wood notes and um, this vetiver. This, it's a very distinctive perfume, very, very elegant. Uh, if you don't like sugary or sweet or oriental perfume, this perfume is, is really for you. It's very feminine, but at the same time, it's very, very, uh, I don't know, elegant, distinctive, sophisticated. I think this perfume is really made for someone who loves to be sophisticated. And you can wear this perfume at work. It's not a heavy perfume. It's not super heavy. It's not like oriental, very warm, very like strong. This perfume is perfect if you want to smell good at work. I think it's really important. You can also smell this perfume every day. Uh, wear this perfume every day. You can wear also this perfume if you are in a date and you don't want to be too I don't know, to intimate uh, with this person right away. I love this perfume. It's a very good one. Very, very good. I love it. I love it. Okay. So the second one, the second one perfume, it's a mythic, mythic, iconic uh, vintage perfume. It's not so well known. It's no by... Uh, uh, fashion connoisseur, fashionista, people who love the 80s. So if you love the 80s and the 90s, you're gonna love uh, this uh, perfume. This perfume is Parfum de Peau by Montana. This one, Montana. Um, so the perfume has been created in 1986 and Montana was a French, um, French fashion designer. He was one of the most 
well-known, most iconic uh, fashion des designer in the 80s and 90s. Um, and yeah, um, for, for people who love vintage, you probably know who is Claude uh, Montana. Um, and he launched this uh, perfume, who was like the first perfume, and I think the only perfume in the, in the line, I'm not sure, but it was the first perfume from Montana. So this perfume, it's very, very iconic. It's a strong perfume. I tried this perfume yesterday and the next morning, morning when, I woke, when I woke up, I could still smell the scent on my skin. Um, this perfume, it's very, very strong, very long lasting, very long lasting. Even when I wash my, uh, my arm or my hands, I could still smell uh, this perfume. So let's try. They said that this perfume is the a liver. So it's the, in the classification, it's a liver perfume. I'm not really like, I won't say it's a very liver uh, or it's a true liver, liver perfume. I'm not sure about it. Uh, it has been reformulated since then, so my, that's why it might be as strong as it was. But I won't define this perfume like a liver perfume. I will say it's more a cheap, woody perfume than a liver. I used to wear pure liver perfume, and for me it's not really a liver, but it has definitely uh, liver notes. So let's... Let's try this perfume. Mm. It's very unique, very unique perfume. So right now I'm smelling the top notes who are paper, blackberry, orange, ginger. It's very spicy. The first note I'm smelling is super spicy. They are spicy, woody, liver, liver, woody, spicy notes. It's not that uh, floral or sugary. Now I'm smelling the middle notes. That's really interesting how the perfume develops. And now I'm smelling the rose. So now there are more flowers in the notes. So rose, patchouli. They are patchouli, jasmine. Now they are flowers. You can you see how a perfume is unique, how perfume developed the notes, and how the perfume can change in just a few seconds. That's really interesting. So I need a little bit of time to get the base and which really characterize or define the perfume. It's really the identity of the perfume are the base notes. That's why you need time. And I won't say enough, you need time to really get the perfume and the base notes. So now I'm getting the base. I give 10 minutes to this perfume and now I have really the base notes. And the base notes are lever, musk and amber. Yeah, so now it's really a liver perfume, I think. But it's not a pure liver. Liver perfume are really strong. They are really, really strong. They are the strongest perfume for me. So I won't say it's a pure liver. It's... Now I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting sheep, to be honest. I'm getting woody sheep liver. So that's why for me it's more a sheep than just a liver perfume. I like this perfume. It's really, um, it's really unique. This perfume is made for someone with a lot of personality. Um, it's different compared to the Jean-Louis Scherer. It's different. We are in the same family, so for, for me it's really a sheep, but... But it's different. It's a different woman. 
She's sophisticated, definitely. She has a lot of personality, definitely. She's strong. She's bold. But she's very different. She wants to be unique. There's something I difficult to define in the in the in the personality of this woman. It's a very unique perfume. I like this one. So now we are getting to something very unique, very rare. I was able to get this perfume on eBay. I didn't buy the, the big bottle. Uh, I buy the small uh, the small size small size. Um, you might find this perfume only on eBay or some niche website because I think this one is discussion continue. Um, but anyway, it's a very unique perfume, very, very unique because it's so rare that it's really interesting. The perfume I'm going to show you is this one, Christian Lacroix by Christian Lacroix. Looks like a little, little shell. It's so cute. So. And the box is so beautiful. That's why I really love vintage perfume. Um, not only because vintage perfumes are rare, so it makes you unique. You're not smelling like everybody, everybody else. You're not wearing the same perfume as someone else. But it's also because vintage perfume, they were made in a time of... It's not about money. Uh, most of the vintage perfume, they have like very, very high quality ingredients. But look at the packaging. Just that. It's made in tissue. It's a tissue packaging. Even the packaging, it's so beautiful. Look at that. It's very, very beautiful packaging. So every, every, everything looks so expensive, so fancy, so sophisticated. Uh, and I didn't pay that much, but the perfume, because it's a very rare perfume, so it might be more expensive in the full bottle. So let's, let's discover this perfume together. Before, I didn't know this perfume uh, before. Before, um, I went to uh, Fragantica, which is a website for perfume. And I don't know, I click, it was like, by like that, I click on the first, I think, first image and I got this, this perfume and I was so intrigued by the reviews and everybody was like, oh my god, this perfume is, is like, um, it smells so good, it's so raw, um, it, I don't know, people were so um, passionate about this one and I never smell, so I got very, very interested by this one. So this perfume has been launched in uh, 1999, so just before 2000, one year before 2000, and Christian Lacroix was a very, very um, iconic uh, designer, French designer. He made only, I think he made only haute couture. He didn't make ready to wear. Um, he was very well known by fashionista, by um, wealthy woman, and uh, most of his uh, clientele were American women. American women loved, used to love Christian Lacroix. Uh, he stopped uh, his fashion house in 2009, I believe. It's so bad. Uh, if you love vintage, you might find a lot of Christian Lacroix um, piece of clothes. His style, his signature was really a uh, baroque, really eccentric baroque. There are a lot of gold in his jacket, for example. Uh, yeah, it looks very expensive. It was very chic, very French chic, with a very uh, Spanish inspiration because he was born in Spain. In Little sticker. So I'm gonna spray a few, few, oh gosh, few drops, more than few, <laughs> but anyway, mm. I smell the top nuts right now, and I smell, 
I smell tarragon, peach, freesia. I smell spicy sugar. So it's a very good oriental perfume. Very sweet, sugary perfume um, and spicy. There's a lot of spiciness in that. So right now I'm smelling really the sugary side of this perfume. The first notes are very sweet, very sweet and spicy. So if you love oriental, I'm gonna say it's a very good perfume. Now I'm smelling the middle notes. And the middle notes are more flowery. There's more flowers now. So it's still very sweet, but with more flowers. And I'm smelling jasmine, lily, ylang ylang, a lot of jasmine. And now I'm smelling the base, which really defines this perfume. And now, and now the base are not that much. It's not, it's less sweet. It's less sweet than before. So there's definitely vanilla. There's a lot of vanilla, tonka, a lot of tonka vanilla, sandalwood. So there's more woody nuts. Now we are getting to the woody sweet nuts. It's less sweet than before, but there are more woody nuts. So this perfume is not for me. I know that it's not for me. But it's a very good oriental. If you love oriental perfume, this perfume is really good. Hmm. Interesting. A very interesting perfume. The notes are very different. There's a huge difference between the top and the, the base notes. I, I see huge difference. It's still sweet. It's still sweet and spicy and warm. It's a very warm perfume, but now they are, they are like kind of woody nuts, like we are getting to the wood. Interesting oriental. It's a very unique oriental. I, I don't think I ever smell something like that. Like, like I say, it looks like or it's smelling like something. It's very unique. I never smell something like that. So Christian Lacroix, I don't know, I know his fashion brand, I know his clothes, but I never try his perfume. So I'm waiting for another one, um, another one which I buy on Amazon. And I believe it's also in Oriental. Christian Lacroix made Oriental. I think if you know the style of Christian Lacroix, you can guess his perfume are Oriental. They can't be cheap or wood or whatever. They are definitely warm and spicy. Yeah. It's a very interesting perfume. I think this perfume is made for someone who is um, someone very eccentric, very extravagant, uh, with a lot of personality, uh, who uh, who is joyful, who love life, uh, a woman with a lot of like. Yeah, a lot of sweetness in her. She she's sweet, but at the same time she's very spicy. She's she yeah, it's a woman who loves life. Definitely. It's a good oriental, very good oriental. These all these vintage perfumes are really unique and they can really define who you are. That's why I love perfume because per perfume are also a way to express yourself. Uh, you don't need to speak, uh, you just need to smell. And um, these vintage perfumes are unique. That's why it's, I really love that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I uh, can't wait to see you again for another vintage perfume uh, try on. So I wish you a good day and see you next time. Bye.